In this lesson to help you improve your English, we are going to visit the Canadian border, or at least as close as I can get to the Canadian border. Right now, I'm about 15 miles from the Canadian border and I would like to show you my hotel. It cost us about $106, but just to let you know, there isn't a whole lot around here. We'll have to travel about 15 miles towards the Canadian border to see anything. And there, I hope we can actually visit the border and maybe visit a couple country stores that aren't too far from the Canadian border. We are in room number 13 and on our way up here, the owner of the hotel called my wife, Jamie, you might see her a little bit later and said, oh yeah, I just left the key right in the door. And sure enough, when we got here, the key was in the door. Let's, uh, let's check out what you can get for $106 in the state of Maine near the Canadian border. I mean, look at that, look at that bed covering. Doesn't that remind you of 1970? The, the beautiful art here. Jamie just walked out. I guess she didn't want to be on camera. Well, we, we got to check out the bathroom, right? Any hotel, you got to check out the bathroom, make sure that's okay. Oh, we got a fan. That's what we caught when you, that thing right up there. We call that a fan and that just helps get rid of any mold that might be caused from a lot of water, a lot of humidity in the bathroom. We give us some extra toilet paper. Okay, I shut the fan off. I can I can leave the light on, but shut the fan off. Are right, you ready to see the shower? I'm, I haven't seen the shower yet. Let's see. Eh, standard American shower. Not too bad. We call that right there. Ooh, it's a shower head, but it's loose. That might, we know, might need to tighten that up. I don't know if you can or not. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's a $106 hotel room. Um, this here, I might call that, I don't know. Hot water, cold water. Ooh. Bonjour. Buenos dias. And just in case you speak French or you speak Spanish, they let you know, hey, we want you to have a good day. Yeah, that faucet reminds me a lot of the faucet I had as a kid, in the 1970s. Here's something that you might see. This is really dark, huh? Um, you might see in, I just, I just clicked that on. If you ever see that in an American hotel, it might be a quick way to heat the bathroom up, but usually there's like a red light that comes on. So that didn't happen. Look at this TV though. But if you come here, you're probably not going to be watching TV. Wait until I show you the view. But before I show you the view, I need to show you the, the kitchen here. But it has everything you need. You get the microwave, get the refrigerator. Looks like, uh, I think the theme here is 1970. That reminds me of a 1970s coffee maker. Ooh. Breakfast blend coffee. New England, so what's in here? I can't, God, I can't even open these. Oh, more, we might call this bedding, but it looks like some sheets and a blanket, or is that a pillow? Okay, that's a pillow. And then an extra blanket, and you can call all of that stuff bedding. Oh, look at this couch here. 
we'll call that a couch or a sofa. Look at the key. Yeah, they literally just stuck it in the door. It just shows you uh, not a lot of people around here and definitely not a lot of crime. Here are the curtains. Call that a curtain. Can open them now. Look at this view. Watch this view when we get out here. Um, sliding. We call this thing a sliding glass door. Sliding glass door. This right here. Screen door. Call that a screen door. Have you seen the view? Have you been able to see the view yet? Come on, it's beautiful. I mean, amazing, right? So we have a little deck here. We might call this a deck or a patio. You know, great for just sitting here, looking at the lake. Maybe a couple drinks if you're into that, if you drink alcohol. If you don't drink alcohol, well, of course, don't have any drinks tonight. But, yeah, beautiful. So let's go into town and see what we can see. So right in front of me is actually an international border. International border. It's, it's a border between the United States and Canada. I am filming this in late July 2021. The border still closed. I think August 8th, August 7th, there is talk of opening the border. But right now, if I wanted to get into Canada, I could not, I could not. I think I might be able to get across if I was going there for work or maybe a family member, if, if I had a family member that had a, a medical emergency in Canada, but I don't have any of that. So I know for sure I will not get across the border today. I'm not even going to try. I mean, I don't mind getting kicked out of a 7-Eleven they just ask me to leave. You know, the police aren't really involved. I don't really want to fool around, mess around near international borders. So it would probably make a better video if I got arrested at the international border. But um, I want to keep my job teaching at my school. So I'm going to skip getting arrested today. Sorry. But I am standing at America's first mile here in Fort Kent, Maine. I am standing right at the edge of Route 1. So basically, if I took this road and went south all the way to the end of the road, Route 1, I would end up in Florida. Just across this river, just across this bridge, that is Canada. But of course, we're not going there today. I think we're gonna eat here tonight at Rock's Family Diner. A couple just walked in and they said it was really good. They said we should try the whoopie pies. Maybe I'll show you a whoopie pie. I think that's a really American thing. Maybe like a Maine thing. The state where I live in is Maine. Might be a Maine thing or at least a New England thing. Northeastern part of the United States. Whoopie pies. They're very good. Just not very good for you. They've been around since 1945, so it's gotta be pretty good, right?
I got the whoopie pie and they come frozen. So our server had to go into the freezer and get the whoopie pie, but she said it only takes about five minutes to thaw. So if something is frozen and it thaws, thaws means it warms up and you're able to eat it, thaw. And sometimes we, we use unthaw too. And it means like the same thing. Yeah, I need to wait for this to thaw. I need to let this unthaw. It's pretty much the same thing. Poutine, it's not very healthy at all. It's basically french fries, gravy, and cheese. So let me pull up a, a bit of that for you. So it's, it looks hot. It's french fry, gravy, cheese. Low on it to cool it off. English phrasal verb there for you. Low on it to cool it off. And take a bite. So good. Poutine is very popular in Canada, so it's perfect. We're just uh, a couple feet away from the Canadian border. Now for the dessert, the whoopie pie. This is wrapped in, like you might call this plastic, plastic wrap. And now I'm unwrapping this. That's what we call it right there, unwrapping this. And I'll, uh, I'll take a, this is um, the whoopie pie. That is uh, some cream in the middle. It's basically like a chocolate cake. Two layers of chocolate cake and in the middle, some, some cream. Mm. It's good. Yeah, a lot like a cake. So if you've ever had cake, not as fluffy maybe, it's a little more dense, but oh, so good. If you want to learn more English, take a look right up there. There's a lesson I did about getting ready for an American road trip. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.